Whiskey, Jason here. Whiskey from the viewpoint of an American in Germany. Today I'm in Ireland. Writer's Tears, Japan or Japanese cask. So, Copper Pot, Writer's Tears, Japanese cask. Um, not Japan. This is Irish, even though it looks very Japanese. Now, this bottle is only available at The Loop. You don't know what The Loop is? Well, neither did I until I went to Ireland and I was at the um, Flughafen Airport. Flughafen, at the airport. The airport is Flughafen, the, the, the Dublin Airport. And there's a whiskey shop there called The Loop. And it's in Dublin, it's in Cork, and that's where you can buy this bottle and only there. So there was a total of two different Mitsunara casks. That's Japanese oak. I have cask number 1102. I haven't seen another cask. I don't know if they how they did that. And this is one of um, 685, and I have 589. So um, that's the way it works out here. So very, very nice. 100 euros if I was in travel uh, retail. Um, Duty-free would have been only 85 euros, for example, flying to the States or something like that. So Mitsunara is the Japanese oak that is very difficult to work with. Um, the Coopers um, over in Japan hate it because the trees do not grow straight. They're all twisted and curvy. There's all these knots and the, the, the wood tends to warp and therefore the casks tend to leak. One of the most difficult woods in the world to work with. And um, this actually was... Totally forgot to talk about this in my German video. I just realized this was actually released for the Rugby World Cup in Japan 2019. Yay! Um, hopefully, Ireland wins. At the time of the uh, the filming, um, there was the Japan typhoon there, and a lot of the games were canceled, which means they are undecided, and therefore both teams get somehow two points, and that that's not fair because. Um, one of the teams would have been disqualified without actually having played and uh, that's just one of the bad parts here about um, the, the, the rules of when games have been cancelled or need to be cancelled. Alright, very very interesting. Japanese Writer's Tears. The most important thing for me by Writer's Tears is it's a mixture, it's a blending, it's a marriage of um, single malt. We know what that is, 100% malted barley and single pot still Irish whiskey. Now that is a mixture of unmalted and malted barley together and it gives us this pot still spice. And that's what Righteous Tears is famous for. So um, I'm going to compare it to what I originally thought I was going to compare it to, another Writer's Tears. And this is the Cognac single cask version. So I have cask number um, 6430. I could if I wanted to, and I don't have the Glendalock um, Mitsunara, but I do have the Chevis Regal Mitsunara, but I didn't think that really lived up to its um, to what I wanted it to. Alright, good. So, very, very nice, very mellow, little bit of sandal wood there. Mm, much more of that cognac moment here. On the cask, it says here, Writer's Tears, a unique style of whiskey embedded in history. Well, they're not that old, but okay. Not natural, non-chilled, filtered, and bottled at cask strength. This rare oriental single cask showcased the stunning influence of Japanese Mitsunara oak from the foothills of Mount Fuji on triple distilled Irish pot still whiskey married with Irish single malt. Very, very interesting. First of all, this is 55%. Second of all, the finish was a total of nine months. So whiskey base 138236. Very good. All right. So, um, Solange. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. I must admit something missing. The entire time I have this in my mouth, it's like, I'm pretty hot. Mm. I like cast strength often. But here, mm, I'm going to try something. I'm going to try to take this down to like 48% and get it at a sweet spot. Now, I, 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 um, I, um, I think it's great that you have 55%. Thank you very much. Uh, 100 euros, 55%, single cast, Mitsunada. The price point's not bad, so I'm going to give you a, basically a C for the price point. 
Um, two years ago, I would never have given a whiskey with 100 euros a C. But I do understand the development. I do understand what's going on there. I do understand how expensive those Mitsunada casks can be. Now, to be very, very honest, this is 46%. I would have loved to have this at 48%. You could have had a few more bottles and so on. You could have kept the price the same. I would not have argued with you there. And I think it tastes better at 48% as well. Let me demonstrate. Mm, even the nose is much more. You get much, much, much more of the single pot still spice in the nose that way. That Mitsunada, that sandalwood. It says here... It says here, flashes of green fruits. I'm interested with the word flashes. Apple, pear, hints of vanilla, and clove over a distinct pot still base. Give way to the exotic oriental notes of sandalwood, coconut, spice, and Japanese incense. Um, I'm not really sure about the Japanese incense here, and I haven't had any coconut whatsoever, but I do get a nice sandalwood here moment. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Mm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yummy. Oh, yeah. Mm. Even towards the end. Very, very good. I've been very fortunate in the last couple of weeks. I've had some great whiskeys here at my, on my, at my table here, on my, in my glass. And this is another great whiskey. This is a solid B. Um, C for value, for money. Um, it is a little on the pricey side. But that's the way things sometimes are. Um, Bernard Walsh, did you do a good job? Yes, you did. Should it only be at the um, the loop? I would love to have it at the Celts, Celtic Whiskey Shop or Irish uh, Malts.com so other geeks can get it. I am not someone who flies to Ireland on a regular basis. Um, CO2, um, environment, and so on. Think about that. Um, I would much, much rather have it at, at a shop than at an airport. I know travel retail is a big, big thing, but I personally would prefer it much better at a, as I said, um, Irish whiskeys, um, irishmalts.com or Celtic whiskey shop that actually send uh, all over the world as well. Um, maybe you could do both in the future. Who knows? All right. I know there's not that many bottles out there, but I don't want them only at the airport. Um, that does um, give an unfair advantage to the frequent flyers that are becoming more and more um, a endangered species out there because of CO2 and because of environmental and so on. Yeah, um, yeah, that's the way things are at the moment. Good. Just a little hop over here to the cognac cask finish, which I really liked, which was about 20, 25 euros less. Mmm. Mmm. I like this a tick better. A little bit better, I must admit. Mmm. I like cognac better probably than I do Mitsunada. That's the thing. But both of these have that wonderful champagne of whiskey, that marriage of single pot and um, single pot still as well as single malt. Very, very well done. All right, Whiskey Jason here, Whiskey from the Viewpoint of an American Germany. My question of the day is, what other whiskeys do you know of that have the Mitsunada? I mentioned the Glendaloch um, with the Mitsunada. I showed you the Chevis Regal with Mitsunada. What other people actually have bottlings out there with Mitsunada finishes or cask finishes at the moment? Thank you very much for watching. Please like, subscribe, tell others about this crazy guy over here in Europe tasting rare and exotic whiskeys. It's my pleasure. Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, my videos usually come out. Uh, all the best. Sometimes there's actually interviews and so on there. See you soon. If you ever need to contact me, whiskeyjason, one word, at gmail.com. Bye-bye.